Naval war games are becoming quite the trend, and while some of them implement strategy, there is something special to many of us about top-down games. And luckily for me, I got sponsored by the best top-down naval game out there. For the last 15 years, Navy Field has thrived in the computer gaming market with several of its veterans still active. Now, Navy Field has been added to the mobile phone and it has some unique aspects to the game that I love. Like for example, when you turn your ship, you have to move your finger like you are turning the wheel of a ship. It can be infuriating at times, but I have grown to absolutely love this aspect of the game. Oh, and also sending airplanes to scout out the enemy, fantastically implemented. But before I get too much into what I love about the game, let's talk about my least favorite aspect of the game. When you start off, your base will look like this. The goal here is to upgrade your buildings, mostly to get and store more resources, using time-based mechanics that can be sped up by spending money, which is kind of your typical mobile game. Some people love this, to others it can be a bit old. Luckily, the time-based mechanics are just one way to get resources. The campaigns in this game are a much more fun way to get resources and they are really good practice for when you start playing the actual game. Now early on, these campaigns might seem tough, but in reality, to a veteran player, these campaigns are a joke. This is because the game includes a lot of both strategy and skill. For example, when you learn to move your ship in a way that causes enemy cannon fire to miss your ship, then you don't take any damage. On the flip side, when you learn to stop using auto aim so you can hit a target that is changing direction, or simply when you learn how to use torpedoes or airplanes effectively, you can do a lot more damage than when you're first starting off and don't really know what you're doing. So learning those techniques are not only crucial for succeeding in this game, but they also make the game a lot more fun and they allow you to beat bigger and better campaigns which gives you a lot more resources to buy better ships which can then allow you to do even more. You can also do operation and survival missions allowing you to get even more resources but the real fun begins when you unlock the online great battle. An online great battle is a 10v10 match. The matchmaking in this game is pretty good so if you have a weak ship then there will probably be someone on the other team that has a ship as weak as yours. But the key key here is outmaneuvering your enemy. Obviously some of the basics are staying together and trying to flank the enemy so that you're kind of pinpointing the ships. You also want to focus on trying to position the right ships in the right place to counter the enemy, which is where it is really helpful to have an aircraft carrier on your team so they can send out planes to scout out the enemy. Once you know where the enemies are and what ships they're using, you can work on trying to position the right ships in the right places to take them out. On that note, it is important to keep in mind that battleships are king in this game. You need an aircraft carrier to be able to scout. Sometimes one of the other classes can offer some good support, but ultimately you want battleships to make up the majority of your fleet. You will want an aircraft carrier to send out planes to scout at the area because battleships by themselves don't have enough sight to be optimal and sometimes a few other ships might help support those battleships, but ultimately you want the bulk of your fleet to be battleships. And because of that, sometimes the counters that are set up in the game aren't quite the best counters. For example, the destroyer is supposed to be a counter to the submarine, but the destroyer is so weak against battleships that usually the best counter to a submarine is a submarine. But in order to be good at submarines, you need to know when to submerge and how to shoot torpedoes, which can be some difficult game mechanics. That being said, I've seen people that are so good at submarines that they have pretty much taken out the entire enemy fleet by themselves. There is also a raid battle type where five ships take on 20 Five. Now most of those are guns, but if you have airplanes to do the scouting and really good bombardment techniques, you can take out those guns pretty easily. And honestly, it is a fantastic battle. It is a thrill to be one of those five ships trying to take out all of those defenses. And then they even have Battle Royale, which is absolutely fantastic. Not only do I love Battle Royale in general, but I love the idea of top-down Battle Royale. Battle Royale, in my mind, is already kind of a strategy survival game type. Type. And so to be able to do that on an aerial view, managing your ships, trying to survive, but also be the last one standing is absolutely fantastic. And then as you get more and more advanced, you will be able to create attack fleets and defense fleets and end up raiding other ships, especially if you join up with others and create alliances, which just gives the game a really awesome MMO feel. And then after you've mastered all of that, you can go and choose a different nation and start all over again, allowing you to 
do everything you just did with different variations of ships of all the different types of ships. So in conclusion, Navy Field is a fantastic game. It is, in my opinion, the best top-down naval game on the mobile market. I've checked out dozens of games and it is the best from that point of view. And I'm really honored that I was sponsored by them to tell you guys about their game. If you guys are interested more in this game, I have put a link in the description and the pinned comment of this video. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.